So to give you a little bit of a flavor for how these things can, can get a little bit more complicated, look at this statement here. So we're going to have not P or not Q. And I want to try to figure out, well, what does this mean? It's already getting a little bit complicated. And of course, I can keep on adding. I could add an R. I could add more variables. I can keep on combining these negations and conjunctions and ORs as much as I wish. So I want to have this systematic way of doing it. And we're going to use the truth table here. So let's pull up our template. And you're going to notice that it's going to be a little bit bigger than it was last time. So if I go way off to the left, Again, we're going to have the same sort of beginning parts here. So I want to have an, an initial input variable p and another initial input q. So those are my same two inputs that we've had before. And I can go down and fill out the different possibilities that we have exactly as we've done before. I could have true and true. I could have true and false. I could have false and true. And I could have false and false. So the same sort of beginning moves here. Now, I don't want to jump right to the final column over here. I don't want to jump right to this final answer. I want to give some intermediate ones that are going to help me along. So what I'm going to do in these ones is I'm going to put not P here, and I'm going to put not Q over there. And I'm going to try to figure out what those are, and then finally, after I'm done with everything, I can come down here, and I can come and put this inside of there. All right, so not P is just exactly the opposite of whatever P is. If, if P is going to be true, then not P is going to be false. P is true, not P is false. P is false, not P is true, and P is false, not P is true. All right, so I'm able to fill that in pretty easily. Same with not Q. Not Q, I just look at Q, and then I take the negation of every one. So if, if Q is true, then not Q is going to be false. False is going to turn into a true, true is going to turn into a false, and false is going to turn into a true. So now comes the tricky part. I want to put these two things together, because I have that it's going to be not P or not Q. And so that tells me if, if one of the two of these columns, the not P and the not Q columns, is true, then my output is going to be true as well. So what do I have here? I have a false and a false. So neither of them is true. It's not the case that one or the other one is going to be. So neither of them is true. And so therefore, it is going to be false. Down here, one of the two is true. This one's true. So one or the other is true. Yeah, that works. That's going to be a true. True and false, one or the other, that's going to be another true. And true and true, one of them is going to be true. In fact, both of them are true. And so that's going to be a final true. So what do I get? False, true, true and true. So these truth tables are very useful at taking these complicated, compounded, logical statements and just trying to interpret when are they false and when are they true, depending on the initial parameters, the P's and the Q's.